Needless to say, it has been a very stormy and a very dangerous night for some here in Oklahoma City. It's here where Kentuckians are trying to help people recover from the May 20th storm and a day in which a new round of storms cut the work early. The skies over Oklahoma City took on an ominous look Friday afternoon as Red Cross volunteers were told to cut their workday short. And they're talking about trying to have everybody in roughly about 3 o'clock or so. They're already pulling some of the groups off because of the weather's changing again. Summer storms are serious business in Tornado Alley and volunteers know that all too well especially from what they've seen these past couple of days. More aware of what can really happen. You don't think that your house can just be totally blown away, and it can be. Russell Hoff of Lexington is on his first disaster relief mission for the American Red Cross. He's feeding victims and other volunteers. Don McGowan of Cynthiana is providing first aid and health services. He's taken back by the resiliency of the people that have lost everything and from hearing about their survival stories. And they could actually feel the tornado go over their house. They were physically holding down the door of their shelter. Knowing that they've seen something they may not ever see again. You're looking at solid miles straight of nothing but piles of debris. Some of the houses look, they're just toothpicks. You know, they're digging through their stuff and trying to find stuff, and it's all covered with insulation, and it's all wet, and, and basically they have nothing left. I mean, the house is gone, their stuff is gone. I chose to ride out the storm here in my hotel room near the Tinker Air Force Base. Now, through the evening tonight, there's been lots of rain, heavy winds, hail, and some tornadoes. In fact, some of these tornadoes, they said, had winds in excess of 150 miles an hour. In Oklahoma City, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The tornado hunters were driving on Highway 81 near El Reno. We want to get cool tornado videos, but I think really we're out there to warn people. Friday night, they saw several twisters come right at them. Hold on, brothers. Hold on. This is video Reynolds shot as the tornado picked up their car and threw it. Everybody jump, go, go, go. Just keep going if you can. I remember it was really quiet and then I was just holding on to anything I could just trying to brace myself for the for the fall. Reynolds was in the back seat of this SUV and he says he thinks he knows why he survived the crash. I started doing push-ups maybe about three or four weeks ago and I think I built up enough strength to to uh, hold on to stuff and grasp stuff. I don't know why I never I've never worked out before. All three passengers had their seat belts on and everyone walked away. I called my dad in Whitesburg right after it happened just to let him know that I was alive. Reynolds says the purpose of the tornado hunt is to find the deadly tornadoes and let people know they're coming their way. But Friday night, the deadly twister nearly found them. In El Reno, Oklahoma, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Well, two weeks ago, a tornado cut a mile wide path of destruction through Moore, Oklahoma, and among the victims, police officers, many of which have not had an opportunity to clean up their own property. That's where Lexington police officers answered the call. It's just a great experience, something I've always wanted to do. Patrol officer Jerry McIntyre says he is finding lots of joy this week and a lot of hard work. Just the joy of knowing we're helping somebody. That's, that's all, you know, we get out and say, hey, we went down there and we helped out. Nearly a dozen fraternal order of police officers knew that more officers wouldn't ask for anyone's help. So they decided to volunteer their services anyway. We've been working 16, 18, 20 hours a day and haven't been able to take care of their own families and their own property. In fact, uh, the house we were just we just visited before, he'd worked 169 hours in the past two weeks. Some houses they spent just a few minutes piling up debris. Other places the job took half a day. Yesterday we spent five hours on a guy's property helping him chop down trees after he literally had lost everything. Some officers brought their families with them. Others hope they send a message to pay it forward. You know, it's something that maybe our kids can look back on later on and say, hey, my dad helped out there and it may help them out later. Say, my dad did that at one time and maybe when they're old enough and they're able to go volunteer and go help out, maybe they'll do the same thing. The group will be leaving here on Wednesday. When all is said and done, they will have helped about 20 members of the 100 member police force here in Moore. In Moore, Oklahoma, Phil Pendleton, WKYT.